One. Hey, what's up, guys? You're Michael Probodinsky here. And, uh, got an interesting story for you guys today. Very interesting story. We're going to talk about the first locals we ever went to. Now, if you don't know what a locals is, it's just a, tor a Yu Gi Oh tournament that's held at your local card shop. It doesn't really account for, you know, like an invite to a YCS or a World Championship. It's just kind of for fun. You usually win packs or. Store credit, something like that. Just something, just a little fun thing to do whenever, you know, have, like, something fun to do on the weekends most times. Yes. If you want to test out a new deck, that's, like, the best place to take it. Well, we would like to talk about the first one we ever went to, and we had no the idea how to fuck... first one. Well, we had no idea how the fuck to play Yu-Gi-Oh. We had no idea how to like, play. No, no idea how to Yu-Gi-Oh. No ideas how to Yu-Gi-Oh's. Oh, God. We're it seeing, was very interesting. We came in at about the... T we came in at about... It's, it was the, uh... It was the Fire Fist and the Mermail thing. Yeah, it was the... Yeah. But it was like... Was it before or after Dragon Rollers? It was after Dragon Rollers. It was yeah, after well, Dragon it was, Rollers. It was like when... It, it was like the prime of... Like, when Exiton was like $80. Yeah. Like, la the winter of 2013. Yeah, that was really when we... F well, that was... The, no, it couldn't have been that. It was like the spring of 2012. It was before Shadow Specs. Yeah, so the spring of 2012. Yeah. And then, like, we, we went in... Like, we started, like, Judgment of Light. Mm -hmm. And then we went all the way like to our first tournament was like a year later at Legacy of the Valiant. Like it just came out. See, I, I don't think it was then because at that point I was running Go Go Go's because I had Exiton. Remember how I freaked out? No, because remember it was you, right before the match. No, you used Exiton in that Chaos deck because that one that one Indian guy kept asking you for it. Yeah, because it was in my Go Go Go's. No, 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 no. Because we went to this tournament. It was the first one we ever went to. I remember this because we played. I we played that water deck, that level three water deck. I kept telling you about. Oh uh, yeah, I never faced that. Yeah. Okay, we'll just roll with that. Yeah. All right, I had an Exiton at the time, which is pretty amazing. I yeah. pulled it from. I went to Walmart, bought a single pack, and pulled Exiton. He was basically the god. I almost wrecked my car driving to the, to my wrestling tournament. Yeah. It was interesting. Yeah. And it was hilarious. Like I walked in the back door of the school, and I walk up to Jordan with a big old smile on my face, and like. Guess what I got? I was so pissed. He was just like, oh, yeah. Let me just guess. Uh, you got Exiton. I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> Fuck you. He had a slight freak out right in the middle of the hallway. Yeah. But anyway, like, the first locals we went to, uh, I guess I'll talk about what I was running. <laughs> shit. Shit. I was running... Yeah. Wind up shit. I was running wind up shit. <laughs> I had... It, there was a bet we had or something where I had to make wind ups, wasn't there? Like, Oh, yeah, because you were pulling a bunch of wind up stuff, and I was like, dude, you gotta make wind ups. It'll be the first dark type you build, and you'll be with oh. me, you'll be your good deck, and yeah! I had no idea what the fuck to run. Like, oh. this is like wind ups were, had, had been hit for like two years already. Like, they were yeah. done. In the dirt, rest in peace, wind ups. Okay, like the best thing they had was Zen mains and Zen Mayo. I didn't even have Zen Mayo. I had yeah. I had two Zen mains. Oh no, you bought a uh, Zen a carrier. You bought a carrier and it got hit. Like I bought it and then the next day it got hit. And he was he was so salty about it. I so uh, it was it was hilarious. He was like a pack like a bag of Lay's chips salt. It wasn't fair. <laughs> like, I did not know anything about the game either, so it wasn't like I knew Zen, like, Carrier was going to get banned. You know, now that I actually read the card, it's pretty fucking broken. I mean, yeah. no, it, it could come you back. You get the Hunter hunter loop going, it's pretty bad. Well, they, they could come back to three now, it would do shit. Oh, that's actually an interesting thing. Have you heard about the, uh, Banless Purge? Oh, uh, like something where, like... Everything comes off the list for a format. Everything comes off the list for a format. Everything at three. Yeah, then, then... And see what the fuck happens. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's just put Royal Oppression at three with Vanity's Emptiness and see what the fuck happens. <laughs> and then give all the power back to the, uh... uh oh, let's just give the Dragon Rollers three. Yeah, Dragon Rollers everything. But anyway, like, this deck I took was, like, wind-ups. Like, I ran the basic wind-up engine that you could run. Like, I had the rats... Actually, fuck, no, I didn't. No, you had, like, two rats. No, I had one a, rat. I had a rat and three bats. Yeah. <laughs> you ran bat. I ran honeybee, too. Yes, you did. I ran bee, bat, knight. <laughs> Fucking knight. I didn't have hunter. I did have shark. I did have shark. That was the one saving grace that I had shark. Yeah, triple shark. I had one factory. Yeah, you... You only did have one, and you proxied it for the video. Yeah, I was like, I think one's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was, oh my god. But like, and then the trip, you had, you had the best one, you know, you had the triple rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, I didn't know how the deck ran, and I was really stupid about it. And yeah, my, I think I went like two and four, or two and three. Yeah, I went two and three because I beat Gorgonix, which I somehow ended up playing your brother. That's funny. And then I lo and then I beat this like level three level limit area B kind of deck where like scrub. It was scrub, but I was scrub too. Yeah, they're so, both level scrub. He was just slightly higher scrub. Yeah, I was basically able to drop Utopia, and he was like, "Fuck." And <laughs> we'll get into the scapegoat story later. Oh yeah, we gotta tell. Anyway, you that. tell him what you were playing. Oh, what I was playing. Uh, so yeah, my first like actual like I don't know. I'd say archetype deck was uh chaos drags i went to walmart and i saw dragons collide mm -hmm. i was like wow look at the front of this these mo these dragons look awesome yeah. i'm gonna buy this and i bought it and i'm like okay so you gotta banish for this guy and then you bring him out for free okay i like this guy and so i was running at that point, I think I'd also bought stuff off Amazon and made, like, threw in, like, I, I, I had the, like, Pulsars, I had, uh... You put, like, blue eyes and red eyes in. Yeah, I had, uh, the Dark Flare. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was running blue eyes in it, I was running red eyes in it. Red eyes for nothing. I had, like, a evil swarm engine. Sort of. There sort was, of like, thing. there was, like, O-Lantern and Heliotrope. None of the good ones. That's the important thing. None of the good ones. Didn't have Ophion. No Ophion. No, uh, uh, da, da. the one that you can just, once you summon it, you normal special, you normal summon an additional. But he had Exiton. I had Exiton because I pulled it. Yeah. But, uh, I actually, did I have, no, I didn't have it at the time. Honor Arc? No, I was, I, it took me forever to get Honor Arc. I was thinking, uh, Lavable Chain, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no, that, that's, I got that later on. But, uh, yeah, and, like, I had a bunch of traps and spells. We were it running. Was a 60 card deck. Just to put it in perspective, like, it was a chaos build that was 60 cards. I don't know how Just we... expect how that would ha work. I can't believe that I actually won three matches. I... <laughs> it, it was weird, like... Ugh. It was bad. It was weird, like, Dad never happened. Oh, no, no. I, I couldn't control my graveyard enough to ever drop Dad. I think you had a BLS, didn't you? I think I got one from the tin. I think you had At a... that time, I had one from the tin. Yeah. And I think I was also running Triple Silver's Cry. <laughs> because, you know, Blue Eyes. <laughs> because I'm like, what? I can just special summon Blue Eyes from the graveyard? This card's amazing. I was, I mean, I can't complain. I was running Triple Kunai with Chain. Oh, my God, you were. I loved Kunai with Chain. <laughs> I loved Chain was your card. Dude, I just thought it was great because I was like, defense mode, 500 gain. <laughs> um, I guess, like, your first local is kind of weird, though, because, like, there's some, like... I don't know, like, some mannerisms you have to go through when you're playing other yeah. players. Like, you, like, I didn't know you had to cut every, like, you could cut people's decks. Yeah. Oh, I my God, someone played, like, I never heard of Upstart Goblin. Someone oh, played yeah. Upstart on me, and I was like, like what does this do? What? Like, he told me, and, like, I, I didn't hear him right, and I was so nervous that I just kind of went with what I thought I heard. I thought it was he drew a card and gained a 1,000 life. <laughs> and uh, he was playing six Sams. Oh, yeah. I the nervousness I had. Oh my god, I was so like, oh my god. Like, I was so jittery at the beginning. I was like, like I don't, I don't want to fuck up. Like I don't want to yeah. piss these guys off. I don't want to like look like a new loser, mm -hmm. non-pro. Playing a sixty card chaos deck. <laughs> oh, and the one thing that really surprised me was trading. Oh my god. Oh, the the, all the trading. I'm like, uh, like all the trading what? was nuts. And, like I was like, what is this? What? Why? What? Trading? Wait, people actually have other cards that I want other than Jordan? Oh my god, this one guy, like, I just wanted something. I wanted a Galaxy S because I was planning to build Galaxies. Oh my god. Yeah. And like, he was like, yeah, dude, I got like 400. And I was like, <laughs> he had like two pages full of Galaxy S. He's like, what? This is like the hardest card to ever get ever. And like, I traded him like a super rare Lila. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, that's fine, dude. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, Galaxy Eyes! <laughs> Oh, what was the one that I really wanted? Oh, it took us forever to get it. Stardust. Oh my Remember how God. long it took us to get Stardust? It took until the, took until the Shadow yes. Spectre Special Edition. Yes, and we're like, it's getting a reprint? What? We could get it? Like, and like, I bought one. I'm like, I think I was the very first one I bought, and I pulled it. And I'm like, oh. 
Like, it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me, ever. Like, oh my god, everyone was like, Stardust! <laughs> but anyway, like, we're... Uh, like, we get so off track. We do. But, <laughs> like, anyway, it, the title of this video is going to be, like, First Locals, kind of. <laughs> First Locals plus a bunch of rambling. Yeah, well, like, I don't know, like, I, I didn't, like, know cutting the deck and, like, uh, all this weird stuff. Like, I was, like, cut the deck... I was like, roll for turn. Why can't we just play rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. Or like something like that. It was like, oh my god. Uh, what was another one? Oh, yeah. The fact that every time you went into your deck, your opponent had to cut. Yeah. That was like, oh my what? god. I was like, wait, what? Like, like all the, way, way, like the, the mannerisms, mm -hmm. like all the lo lingo that goes along with Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I had no idea what I did was. not know what milling was. No, I didn't know what crash meant. I didn't know... Swing, swing, or like, oh, uh, just all the, the, just all the different like terms. Saying, yeah, like I was like so confused. I was like, don't you mean attack? Yeah. I was like, oh my god, this game doesn't have to be so formal. Yeah, like I was so confused about all that. Yeah, uh, like when someone would say pass turn, I was like, what? I thought you had to say I end my turn. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um. Oh, um. Having to wait for them to respond. Oh, yeah. Holy sh... Me, like, compared to how me and Jordan would play, like, most times there was never a response from either one of us. Yeah, when Kunai with Chain is your one set card. <laughs> or, like, the biggest thing with us was Mirror Force, and we were, like, that would end, end up ending the game most times. Mm -hmm. But, like, Force, against GG. them, like, they'd flip Fiendish on us, and we're, like, we're about to start doing things. They're, like, hold on. On that summon... Fiendish. I'm like, what the fuck's a fiendish? Oh, no, I think you knew what a fiendish was because uh, you had that in the deck. Oh, yes, yeah, so I think I got it from the structure deck. Uh, like, they would play something like, I don't know, bo like, bottomless. Bottom, yeah, bottomless. I had no idea what bottomless like, did. Like, wait, I'm never going to get that card back? What? I was like, <laughs> wait, what? What? I need that! Yeah. I need that! <laughs> or, uh, oh, oh, uh... D-Prison. <laughs> oh, D-Prison was the scariest thing. Yeah. I was so scared. I was like, Mirror Force, I can call it. I can call the Haunted it back. Yeah. But no. But D-Prison, it's like, that card is gone to never return. The rest in peace. The the rest in peace. Just, it, it's never coming back to no. us. We're like, no. Oh, rest, rest in so many pieces. Yes. Uh, I, th I think your dog is trying to force it. <laughs> <That's> your... <laughs> yep. <laughs> The chihuahua right now is trying to force the door open. Yes, but, um, we, like, it's so much, like, like, and rulings, like, you didn't know, like, I did not oh, know you, I did not. Oh, all the rulings. I did not know you could, well, first of all, this isn't really a ruling, this, this is the story. Oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I traded it. for a scapegoat at this tournament, like, I was really excited, like, I knew what scapegoat did, I had never used it, and... I was like, I'm going to play scapegoat. And I was running the three wind-up bat in my deck, so I was running number 56, Gold Rat. <laughs> gold Rat for the win. Gold Rat for the win. <laughs> <laughs> like, we love gold. We tried to incorporate Gold Rat in so many things. It just wasn't good. Just because it's Gold Rat. We couldn't make it work. What a Gold Rat? I don't even think either of us owns a Gold Rat at this point. Oh, no. A gold Rat is long gone. I, I kind of want to get one. I might have it in my bunk. Oh. We have to take, we're going to have to take a look tomorrow. Yeah. But, like, it was... Like, I flipped up scapegoats the one time, and I guess it was like, like, XCs weren't new at the time. This is a time of Legacy of the Valiant, so, like, we're far from Generation Force. <laughs> like, we are way along in the XCs, and this guy didn't stop me from overlaying tokens yeah. and making gold rat. And I drew and drew and drew and drew, and he just didn't know what to do. Like, I whooped his ass because I was able to summon Utopia and then... Else. What was something else we made back then? Oh god. Um uh I think it was really just Utopia was like the main guy. Well, Utopia was like go-to guy. And uh the go-to bro. What else? Oh, uh Black Ship. I yeah, remember Black I was Ship so of excited corn. whenever I got my Black Ship from the 110. Yes, Black Ship. We made Black Ship and Utopia. You hated that thing whenever I played it. There's nothing you. stronger than 2100. <laughs> Utopia! I had Utopia! <laughs> like, Utopia was my boss monster, okay? He, he was the OG Kush. He was the OG. But, like, your first level is you're so nervous and you make misplays with the scapegoat and mm. overlaying, you make Old Rat and you. Oh. What about timing? 
Timing, oh my Timing god. Timing and uh, uh, chains. Oh, chain. What chains a... we did not oh know my god. anything about. Remember when you tried... Yeah, I remember because you told me you tried to MST a dark hole. Yeah. We used to I think... tried to MST negate. We thought MST <laughs> negate was a thing. Like, yes. We honestly did. We thought MST negate was the definite always Like, yeah, you thing. think, uh, I play dark hole. Okay, MST. All right, that's fine. Like, we thought that was the yeah, thing. Yeah, we just thought that was how it was. No. No. Like, we the one guy, so far from the, the truth. One, the one guy pointed it out to him, and he was like, uh, you can do that, but... It won't do anything. Your things are still going to die. I'm like, what? <laughs> it destroys the card. He's like, yeah, but the effect still goes off. A chain results backwards. That activated, then it's... My thing react activates, and then... Uh, yeah, it's oh just how a chain fucking works. I was like, what in the hell is a chain? Like, oh yeah. my god. And then, what else was there? there timing was the worst thing. Like, timing was really bad. Like, I was like, oh my god. Because I think at the time, I actually had an effect veiler. Yeah. I had an effect veiler, and I never knew when to use it, because I didn't know anything about timing. Yeah, like, oh my god, it was so bad. It was really bad. Like, uh, res like response, timing, and chains. The three hardest things to learn in this game. Yeah, like, for anyone that's just up and coming and, like, learning the game... Learn the basics, and then have someone really that knows the game teach you about yeah, learn timing, chains, and different rulings, oh because make that's sure you, the hardest Make thing sure you don't throw two macro cosmos in your deck. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. That's a, that's a, different, that's a different time to talk about. Keep that wasn't the... Uh, no, fuck it, I can talk about it right now, because it, it, it correlates with the... With the locals thing. locals thing. He... He got nervous, pretty much side decking. I got very nervous side decking. I thought I could make. I thought I could side deck two macros. I couldn't do that. Well, man. That was that was right after I built monarchs. You were playing some skull ser. Oh, it was Mike. I was playing other Mike. Yeah. And he was playing a skull servants, and I brought out macro, and he's like, "Well, I scoop." Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you do. And then I was taking the deck apart. He's like, "Wait, did you have two macros in there?" I'm like, yeah. He's like, "Well, you lose, sir." I'm like. How? He's like, well, there's a ban list. I'm like, yeah, because we didn't know anything about the ban list at that time. I think we knew about it, but like we didn't check it enough. Yeah, we didn't check it nearly enough. Like, we knew the Dragon Wars were limited. We knew, like, it was the time when Bear was at one. Mm. Or not Bear, uh, Wolf Bark. Yeah, like, yeah. Wolf Bark was at one. Like, oh, we knew some stuff that was on it, but it was like we didn't check and know. Yeah. I had two macro instead of D Fish. And I had a D Fish in my collection, too, at the time. So I, I don't know why I didn't do it. I don't know why you decided. I was just being dumb. Mm hmm. But, uh, yeah. Locals is scary for your first time. For the first time, it's really scary. Mm -hmm. And even now, I still get a little nervous every time going into like, a first match. Like, first match, I'm always nervous. Yeah. And I'm always scared of getting the dick. Mm -hmm. Like, the dick of the tournament, I'm scared of getting. Because, like, I don't want that. Because there's always one of them. There's always one that has to go too hard. Like, it has to be the most competitive guy there. Like, when I go out to Pittsburgh, I don't want to talk shit on this place, but, like, when I go out to Pittsburgh and I play at this one locals there, like, they all go so hard, like... Cleave for burning abyss. Like you gotta win, and I'm like the top prize is like ten packs, mm -hmm. like not even half a box. Yeah. I'm like, and I'm playing light sworn or black wing. Like, is that big a deal, guys? Yeah, uh, that's the one thing I kind of like about our sh shop. Like we know, like our little shop. If everyone goes hard, it's bad. Like we <laughs> we go hard. But most times, like, we all just get, get together before the tournament because it's kind of a smaller group unless yeah. we go up to uh, Belfont where we, they always play meta. But uh, we get together we're like, okay, we're going to play fun decks. Mm -hmm. And we play fun decks. Like, what was the one last time? It was a Secret of Eternity sneak peek. I played, oh, well, I kind of played meta, but it, I, I was building Teller Knights at the time, and I was like, oh, I want to test them out. They're like, well, we, you know, we know you don't have it at full power, so you can just run around. Oh, that was the tournament I played by Volcanic Set the first time. Yeah. Uh, was, uh, then we kind of played meta. But, uh, yeah, and Dave played Bougian, so mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't meta, but it was tough. But, like, we've had tournaments where, like, people play Fluffles and perform Pals. Yeah, like, the next, we're actually having a tournament this uh, Sunday, okay. and I'm... I'm just going to take my go-go goes because we all just already decided that we're just going to play, like, fuck-around decks. I don't know what I'm going to play, but I'm probably going to take one of his decks and play something. <laughs> I might play Raccoons, even though I hate that deck. <laughs> They're a lot of fun to play. I, I don't know. I, I want to run and lock somebody. I, I might take my nice. Black Wings. Like, Black Wings are fun. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, I just, 
don't know. It's and then like also even going up to Belfont, there's like no like dicks up there, and it's like everyone's no, real. No, everyone's no. real nice. Except the, the owner. owner. Except the owner. Oh yeah, the owner's a real dick, but. Like, you can get some people that are, like, way too competitive. Like, I've seen that. And they get really mad. Like, I don't think it's bad when you ask a question about, like, chains. Mm -hmm. If you, like, call a judge over and you're like, can you just tell me the chain, like, if this would happen? Like, it's not that big a deal unless you're being like, whoa, 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 he flipped the vanities and he can't flip the vanities. It's yeah. Like, would you please? I, I, like, I don't know. Like, but it, anyways. Yeah, like, you just gotta, like, locals are scary for your first time. Mm -hmm. they're, they're scary sometimes. They're, yeah. But, like, at the last... That box tournament, like the, there no. was two kids that were just like me and Jordan. Oh my god! Like, like literally, the for, like they had decks just like us. Yeah. Like they just they found cards and they're like, okay, we're gonna play this. And like Jordan to talk, I didn't, I wasn't able to talk to the kids, but Jordan to talk to him. And he's just like, yeah, it was just me and my friend down in our basement playing cards, and we just decided to come to this tournament. Mm -hmm. And we're like, wow, that was exactly like us. Yeah, they had no idea what the rules were at all. And the horrible thing about it was. They came to a win -a box, so everyone went hard. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it was... literally just took them off of wanting to play tournaments, and I felt really bad about it. Yeah, they were that. like, we're probably not going to play competitively again. Like, it was bad. Like, I, I... I don't know. I wish I would have been able to talk, them, talk to them and yeah. just try to talk them into keep playing yeah, competitively like... because you learn the game, and it's a lot more fun this way. You meet a lot of cool people, and... Like, they, it was obvious they wanted to play heroes because they had, like, hero stuff, but they had, like, the bad hero stuff. I almost, like wanted to go over there and like give them all the extra hero stuff but I didn't have it at the time yeah. I felt really bad but eh yeah, what like, can you do locals can be scary but mm -hmm. to go to your locals play your locals learn don't the game learn it like you're gonna meet people that are gonna be like oh you don't know the whole, the whole entire game here we'll teach you real quick yeah it's, it's nice like, there's that, a lot of shout, shout out Nick Chan yeah not, and Nick Chan teaching us literally everything oh my god it, whoa oh, well like the entire club really. yeah like, literally everyone at our local club taught us how to play oh my and God. I respect them for doing it. They're all real nice about it and most people that play the game are going to be nice about it. They want more people to play the game. You might get like a dick every once in a while. There's always going to be the dick. There's always going to be an ass that's going to just kind of be a doucher. It's it. always but like a 25 year old man with a hoodie on <laughs> even if it's like summer in, yeah. coming into the shop playing the hardest deck to play and like really focused super shuffling like and then he will side against a 14 year old kid with no deck. Yeah, that's just like trying to pick up the game. He's like, I don't know. He will, just beating a dude. He will, he will play three fire, like, against the, I don't know, like, the, the, the hazy flame player. <laughs> the kid that bought just a couple packs of Cosmo Blazer is just like, okay, let's build hazy flames because you know everything's common and rare. Yeah, and then he's like, fire leak, fire leak, fire leak, I can't let that go off. It's like, triple dude. Dante, auto death. You're like, bro. Tri triple Pallades. <laughs> Rank up into three Pallades. Yeah. But yeah, guys, so but, play your locals. And, yeah, we'd love to hear some stories from you guys. Put them in the comments. Like, how it, what you got, how, we, how did you guys react to your first locals? Uh, was it scary? Were you nervous? Did you play Scapegoat and Overlay into Golden Rat? Did you do that? Or did you know all the rules? Did you run a 60-card uh, Chaos, Chaos drag. drag deck? Did you run Top Runner? Yes. Uh, Kunai with Chain? Kunai with Chain. Uh, oh god, what were some other bad... The, the bad Evil Swarm cards? Oh, yeah, oh, I can't forget those. Yeah. Did you run Utopia for no apparent reason? Did you always go for Utopia, even though you probably had better cards? <laughs> Just because Utopia was in the anime. Did you hide behind Zen Mains every chance you got? <laughs> These are all Oh my god, you ran triple S Zen Mains at that time. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> but yeah, guys. Yeah. Leave a comment, do all that shit. Yeah, and hell, if you liked the video, subscribe. Yep, yeah, see, we'll see ya. See ya.